Sam Stone came home to his wife and family after serving in the conflict overseas. And the time that he served had shattered all his nerves and left a little shrapnel in his knees. But the morphine eased the pain and the grass grew round his brain and gave him all the confidence he lacked. With a purple heart and a monkey on his back, there's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes. Jesus Christ died for nothing, I suppose. Little pitchers have big ears, don't stop to count the years. Sweet songs never last too long on broken radios. Mm -hmm. Sam Stone's welcome home didn't last too long. He went to work when he'd spent his last dime. And Sam, he took to stealing when he got that empty feeling for a hundred dollar habit without overtime. And the gold roared through his veins like a thousand railroad trains and eased his mind in the hours that he chose while the kids ran around wearing other people's clothes there's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes Jesus Christ died for nothing I suppose Little pitchers have big ears, don't stop to count the years. Sweet songs never last too long on broken radios. Mm -hmm. Sam Stone was alone when he popped his last balloon. Climbing walls while sitting in a chair Well he played his last request While the room smelled just like death With an overdose hovering in the air Yeah, but life had lost its fun There was nothing to be done But trade his house that he bought on the GI Bill for a flag draped casket on a local hero's hill. There's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes. Jesus Christ died for nothing, I suppose. Little pitchers have big ears, don't stop to count the years. Sweet songs never last too long on broken radios. Mm -hmm. So I got to tell you about this illustration. I was actually on a John Prine site and, and found this guy, Dan Gregory, from Dan Gregory Art. I saw a sketch of his, this sketch that I have on my thumbnail. Uh, and I was blown away. Um, so I approached him and I told him what I had in mind that I wanted to use, know if I could use this illustration on my thumbnail for my next John Prine post. Uh, he was gracious enough to allow me to do that. You've got to check this guy out. You got to Google Dan Gregory or Dan Gregory art. And, um, he's a very interesting character. He's, uh, a younger guy, uh, of course, most everybody is younger than I am, um, but he's very interesting. He, he's, he lives in Idaho. I'm in Missouri. I wouldn't mind meeting him on a person-to-person -person basis instead of 
just online. He's a, he's an interesting guy, um, and uh, very talented. Um, I know why he lives in Idaho. He's a mountain climber, and a musician, and a, a wonderful artist. And I want to personally thank Dan Gregory for letting me um, grace my thumbnail with his incredible illustration. Thank you, Dan.